Ryder, tell me about the satellite you found. Director? What are you talking about? My alert identified a ZK resource tracker. They're emergency tech, full of overrides so they can bypass protocol. They were designed by Dr. Zoe Jean Kennedy. She disappeared with the Exiles. If her tech has shown up, that could give someone a backdoor to steal from your outposts. Why were these trackers allowed to bypass protocols? They're supposed to be hubs. To rapidly track and pull resources if lives are at stake somewhere. That's why they weren't deployed. Tan didn't like anyone bypassing his rubber stamp. If this satellite is new, how has it kept up with our security measures? That's a very good question. What was Dr. Kennedy's role in the initiative? She designed the orbital beacons, forward stations, and half the kit in the Tempest. She'd ram an upgrade through before the requisition was on Tan's desk. Dr. Kennedy disappeared along with the Exiles. That was a big loss. Pretty extreme to set up a personal alert. Why do that? A lot of Dr. Kennedy's projects were unofficial. But you backed them. Like these trackers. I don't want some asshole using my access codes to cut a backdoor into our resources, or Tan blaming me for it. But I also want to know what happened to her. She disappeared with the Exiles, but you aren't calling her one? She sympathized, but we'd never let an expert like that go. She was vital. But in the chaos, a lot of things, and people, went missing. If we have to find the tech or the person, where do we begin? You got a sliver of data from the first tracker. With more scans, maybe Suvi can assemble a point of origin. Obviously, these trackers are being deployed where initiative tech is concentrated. That means outposts. I bet there's more trackers in outpost systems. That's where you search for whoever's doing this. And when we find them? They're stealing our resources. My concern is Dr. Kennedy, her tech, their lives. In that got pinged by another of those ZK trackers. Let's try to get close enough to pull some data. On it. Probe away. Tracker ahead. Looks active. Ease up on it. We need a point of origin. Twitchy self-destruct. Wait, just let me stick a predictive model in this fragment. There, a common vector, maybe a point of origin. Good job. Let's go. up something. Probes launched. I found something.
Pathfinder, this is the exact nav point indicated by the ZK trackers. Right, Addison's request. Let's see if this helps us find our missing scientist. Damn it. The shuttle's just a relay. But I think we can get in their feeds. Hold on. Signal's through. Ready for coordinate transfer. And... Who the fuck? We've been found. Deadhead the comms. Here we go again. I'm the Pathfinder. A Pathfinder? One finally showed? Harlan, stop talking. Is that Dr. Kennedy? Are you okay? Director Addison is concerned about you and your tech. Keep them talking, Ryder. Tracing. All I want is to stop the stealing. I have outposts of people trying to start their lives. Outposts starting lives, huh? Let them see, Harlan. They just forwarded Dr. Kennedy's medical profile. Ryder! She's pregnant. That woman is pregnant. That woman knows full well the state she's in. You are... really... pregnant. What happened? When a mommy and a daddy love each other very much, they don't let humanity die out. You're with Addison? Well, she fell in line with Tan, said we couldn't add new mouths until we were stable. But this wasn't about waiting until we could afford a house. We were dying. So I left, with enough meds for Harlan and I to get off the blockers. How far along? Dr. Kennedy, how long? Eight months, give or take. We're not going back. You're not getting my tech. We'll be fine without you. Tell Addison. Fuck it, don't tell her anything. Kill it. They flashed the core. Couldn't get a trace. Addison will want to hear about this. And I've got questions for her. Director Addison, I have a sighting on your missing Dr. Kennedy and her trackers. She's alive? And eight months pregnant. Fucking hell. She didn't disappear. Dr. Kennedy left to try and have a child. You really had no clue? I knew she wanted us to fast track the schedule, but we had no worlds. We were going to lose people. I wasn't going to watch babies die, too. Of all the stupid, irresponsible, selfish... She was always like this, even back on Earth. She took me into this, and now, now we have to save her tail. Wait, what did Dr. Kennedy talk you into? She's an old university friend. We were catching up, and she mentioned a project she was training for. The Andromeda Initiative? She'd still be here if I wasn't forced to tell her no a year ago. What was the timetable for stopping the contraceptives everyone got before cryo? No way to tell. It was to be determined. You had to know that would frustrate people. It was the only answer we could give. The alternative was more mouths and more death. Dr. Kennedy seems to have a group with her. Stealing aside, she has support. How long will that last? She's the smartest person I know, but she jumps without looking. Ryder, we have two speeches banked for the first child in Andromeda. Trust me, you want the one for the good outcome. We know how to find her. We find more of her ZK trackers. Hopefully you can draw them out by placing more outposts. If she hasn't changed the protocol. She's eight months. She may be distracted. This is a complete shit show. Find them, Pathfinder. The first human child in Andromeda can't just disappear.
just detected a ZK tracker. Scan's ready. We need Dr. Kennedy's location. Understood. Believe me. Attached. We find the sources. Tech will give us initiative access. The breeder is also a symbolic target. No mercy. Rokar targeting Dr. Kennedy. Suvi, do we have her? Negative. We need another tracker. Damn it. Pathfinder, I've detected the last CK tracker we need. Right. We need to find Dr. Kennedy before the row car. Callow was right. Signs of Ket. But I'm getting data. The four trackers give us a point of origin... on Vold. That planet has no shortage of leftover Ket. We don't want a baby near Exaltation, or Rokar. We have to find them on Vold. Orbit is steady. Approaching the LZ. That's Tetrix, according to my map. So, Cora, I know, all right. I shouldn't have put my faith in Sarissa. I should have remembered she's just as fallible as me, but I didn't. Happy now? I'll be happier when you've shot something. You and me both.
Mayday, Mayday. Any initiative personnel, we need help. This is the Pathfinder. There may be Rokar and Ket closing on you. No, 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 not now. This does not sound good. Can you make a run for it? Running is unlikely, Pathfinder. Ah, ah. Oh, this is getting messy. Tempest, Dr. Kennedy will need an escape vector ASAP. Understood. Give me a gun. Oh. She's not... not really. Turret ahead! Looks like it needs power. Oh. Tell them to hurry! We hear you, Doctor. Hold on! I'm on someone else's... Schedule. Oh. Oh. Take them out. Kennedy's shuttle needs a pass. On it. Liam asked if you could come by. You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. Pathfinder, I have Dr. Kennedy on the channel. She is very tired, but alive. And the baby? Lungs like a banshee, and safe. And now that you're back in the fold, it's the Initiative's job to keep you safe. This all started with tech that could steal Initiative resources. Dr. Kennedy has graciously offered to return her research, and any resources gained along the way. I could always just purge all data. No, thank you. We'll keep things simple. You and your trackers all safely accounted for. We fought off Ket and Rokar. Those threats won't just go away. That's the Nexus way. Shut the doors and hope. Don't get me wrong, I'm grateful as hell, but it won't be long before none of this matters. There's others out there. I was just furthest along. If you want us safe, make it all safe.
Prodromos is where we started our new lives. They'd love to welcome this one. It's not too far. If you ever want to talk. I haven't changed, Foster. That's what I hoped you'd say. You never said what name you chose. Maybe Pathfinder? Scott's good too. <laughs> no, it's David. David Edward, for an old friend. Goodbye, Ryder, and thank you.